Hello, my name's Carol and I'm the children and family worker at Christchurch Roxith in South Harrow. I hope you've had a chance to listen to Phyllis as she told the story of when Mary and Joseph took Jesus, a baby of eight days old, to the temple and how Simeon and Anna had been waiting there a long time. Simeon was a very elderly man and Anna a prophetess and they'd been waiting for the special child, the special saviour of the world to come. They were both as I say, quite old, and had been waiting a long time for this special child, the special person to come along who would actually save the world. They'd been reading the prophets of old, and they'd, these prophets had all said that a saviour would come and would save the world from their sins, the things that we do wrong. And here he was, Jesus, eight days old, and the prophetess Anna and Simeon recognised Jesus as this one. I wonder if you've ever waited a long time for something. We've just had Christmas, maybe you were waiting for Christmas, couldn't wait to open those presents on Christmas morning. Or maybe you're praying for something and you're having to wait for it and you're wondering, God, when are you going to answer my prayer? I pray every day. When are you going to answer? Sometimes we have to wait a while for God to answer. I mean, you might wonder, why is he taking so long? But you need to remember, just as with the Simeon and with Anna, they knew that the perfect time had come. They trusted in God and they knew that Jesus would come at just the right time. And so it is with our prayers that God will answer them at just the right time, not too early and not too late, but perfect for God's time. And that'll be perfect for our time too. So we're going to pray now that we can learn to wait better for God to answer our prayers. That we will be, the word patient. Patient means we can wait without getting annoyed or worried or frustrated or angry. That we can be patient for God to answer our prayers. That we can trust in him. So put your hands together. I find that helps. And close your eyes because I find closing the eyes um, helps us not to get distracted by the things around us. And then I will pray. And you can say Amen at the end. So let's pray. Dear Lord God, we just thank you that you're a God who has perfect timing. That you're never too early and you're never too late. Help us to trust in you to answer our prayers at the right time. Help us to, help us to grow in patience. Help us to to know that you are perfect in how you answer our prayers, whether it be no, yes, or not yet. Help us to just to keep trusting in you and knowing that at the right time, you will do the right thing. Help us to wait and wait on you, Lord God. We ask these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So keep praying and just keep waiting because God will answer one way or another.